to see how we use rocks in everyday life. And as I'm doing that, I see one of my best friends, Lucky Duck. And she is out digging through the, the leaves, looking for worms and little insects that she would like to eat. And look, there's Fancy Nancy. Hi, Fancy Nancy. Okay, now we're gonna get on with looking how we use rocks every day. Oh, that Lucky is such a cutie. And look what she's doing. She's walking on something that is made out of rocks, the blacktop at school. And actually also, this little piece of, it says signal here, that is made out of metal. And metal, iron, comes from iron ore. And iron ore is a rock. Here's one of the, oh, there's Lucky flying. Hello, Lucky, did you want to visit us again? One of the things around campus are these stone benches, but it's not just one big piece of stone that has been carved. When you observe it, when you look really closely, you can see that there are some pebbles and gravel and some sand, and they're all glued together in like a cement mixture. Don't you just love the animals? I'm outside room one, Mrs. Jung's class, and there are a bunch of things here that are made out of earth materials. So let's take a close look at this, these steps. The steps have got little pieces of gravel and sand and they're in cement. And the metal railings are made out of iron, which I told you before, is comes from a rock, iron ore. And the door handle is made out of iron the door is made out of wood, so that is an organic matter, something that was living. But the stucco is made out of earth material, and there are the hand tiles again. Wow, so many things made out of earth materials. Here is a clay pot. Clay, remember? Boulder, cobble, pebble, gravel, sand, silt, and clay. Clay, once it's fired and baked, it won't dry out, it won't get wet again, and it's a great container to hold a plant. You guys might think this is an odd one, but here's some paint, and paint contains earth materials. So let's look and see what paint has in it. Well, it has water. It has nepheline cyanite, which I don't know what that is. It has titanium dioxide, which is something that comes from, a titanium is a metal, which comes from a rock. It has ceramic materials, which means that it is coming from, it has clay in it. And the clay and the titanium dioxide, oh, I have a bunch of friends visiting me over here. Hi guys, those materials, the clay and the titanium dioxide makes the paint opaque so that you can't see the paint colors below it. Here's another funny thing that you guys might not realize that it comes from earth materials. Your pencil, not the wood part of the pencil, but the part that writes, that is called graphite and graphite is an earth material. Hi, this is Graphite. Mrs. Belletish gave this to me. It writes like a pencil. Watch. 